Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the month of Waitu series on Sea Results. We pray that this month of Ramadan has so far been fruitful and beneficial to all and that we are drawing nearer to Allah each day by observing the fast and increasing in acts of worship and obedience while distancing ourselves from anything that earns Allah's displeasure. Allah tells the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, in chapter 21, verse 7 of the Holy Quran, and we have sent you, O Muhammad, not but as a mercy for the Alameen, meaning mankind, jinns, and all that exists. The prophetic sunnah or tradition is replete with pearls of wisdom and guidance. One such example is a hadith narrated by Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, who reported that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, None of you will have faith until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. And in another narration, the Prophet said, Until he loves for his neighbor what he loves for himself. Contrast these words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, with the attitude that is prevalent today. Everyone wants to be better than the other. Materialism and vanity have taken such a firm grip on our souls that we only feel good about ourselves when we think we've done better or possess more than those in our social circles and it pains us to see them achieving at our level or perhaps even excelling us. But this is in total contradiction to what the Prophet, peace be upon him, has advised us. Whatever goodness we desire for ourselves of the permissible things in life, we should want that for our brothers and sisters too. Even though we may not share the exact same desires, we should want the same happiness, success and comfort for them that we want for ourselves though the means may be different. And remember, ultimately, it is Allah who gives and He who withholds. So if they are given something of goodness before you, then Alhamdulillah, this is the decree of Allah and we should be happy for them. Jealousy and envy are very serious offenses in the religion of Islam. Allah says in the Holy Quran in chapter 4 verse 32, And wish not for the things in which Allah has made some of you to excel others. For men there is reward for what they have earned, and likewise for women there is reward for what they have earned. And ask Allah of his bounty. Surely Allah is ever all knower of everything. Anas bin Malik reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Envy consumes good deeds just as fire burns wood. It is the advice of our Prophet, peace be upon him, that we should look to those who have been given less than ourselves, instead of those who are given more, so that we would not become ungrateful for what we have. Not only should we love for others what we love for ourselves, but we should treat others in the manner in which we wish to be treated. Abdullah ibn Amr reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace, be, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Whoever would love to be delivered from hellfire and admitted into paradise, let him meet his end with faith in Allah on the last day, and let him treat people as he would love to be treated. It is not fair to expect that others give us our rights and respect while we trample all over theirs. There are those humble servants of Allah who will bear patiently and not reciprocate any harm to us, and maybe even continue to treat us well while we treat them badly. But remember, we will have to give an account to Allah about all that we used to do. Allah says, in the Holy Quran in chapter 2 verse 281 And be afraid of the day when you shall be brought back to Allah Then every person shall be paid what he earned And they shall not be dealt with unjustly Thank you for watching May Allah continue to bless and guide us and you Till tomorrow inshallah Assalamu alaikum ولا تتمنوا ما فضل الله به بعضكم على بعض للرجال نصيب مما اكتسبوا وللنساء نصيب مما اكتسبن واسألوا الله من فضله إن الله كان بكل شيء عليما